Hey guys, my name is Mr. Mio, and today DICE is celebrating their second birthday of Battlefield 4 and with it they've given us a pleasant surprise on the CTE with brand new amazing game modes. Uh, the one you guys are seeing right now is Skid Loader Superiority. Uh, the name of the game on this one is to jump in your skid loader, you can't get in the secondary seat, you can't jump out of your skid loader to shoot people out, and then try to hold on to the central capture point, but also pushing your enemy off the side of the Siege of Shanghai Tower. It is ridiculous. Uh, the one that I'm really enjoying though is Jeep Superiority. By its name, you wouldn't think that this would be all that enjoyable. It's like, really? Jeep Superiority? Sure, they're good at getting you from point A to point B, but they're not necessarily a destructive force on the battlefield. Uh, the way that I saw this playing out in my eyes is that everyone would get to the objective, jump out, and then it would turn into TDM. Uh, well, the way that DICE has been able to work around it is that you cannot exit your vehicle whatsoever. As soon as you jump in, you're stuck with that vehicle until at least the end of the round or it explodes and you have to respawn into another vehicle. Uh, the result of it is some of the most entertaining, chaotic, Mad Max gameplay that you can experience in Battlefield 4. And honestly, it really reminded me of what I loved back in Battlefield Hardline with Hotwire. Uh, I know a lot of people hated on Battlefield Hardline, but I gotta say that that was one of my favorite game modes when the game released. Uh, eventually, everyone started using RPGs and C4, and it got a little stale after that. But I must say that when you actually have an awesome duel between vehicles, it is one of the most enjoyable things to do in a first-person shooter. And and that is exactly what you're getting with this Jeep Superiority. It is, it is fantastic. Uh, the next one on our list is Tank Superiority. Uh, this was introduced back in Battlefield 3 with the Armored Kill DLC, and admittedly, it was poorly implemented. Uh, the way it worked is that most people could jump into a vehicle at the start of the round. I think it was uh, main battle tanks, LAVs, and the tank destroyers, and then the objective was to hold on to the central capture point. There was only one capture point. I think it was for that very reason why this turned into a lackluster game mode, because there wasn't any tactics. You basically bum rush the objective at the very beginning, hope that your team was able to hold on to it, and then it turned into a stalemate. There wasn't really any reason to flank because there wasn't any side objectives that you could capture, and so it just turned into this long-range tank battle that wasn't all that enjoyable. Uh, it looks like DICE has learned their lesson from this, and there are now three objectives that you can capture on the Caspian Vorder version. Uh, it's basically Conquest, but with tanks, and it's amazing. I love tank combat when you really gotta work with your other tank drivers to be able to win the day. Uh, for example, here I was trying to duel an enemy tank out in the distance. I'm hurting because all of a sudden I got swarmed by multiple targets and then my friendly Jeep kind of scooted on in to take some of the damage. I was then able to pop over his vehicle, get some, po some shots off on the enemy, and we were able to win the day or at least win that tank battle. It was amazing, like there were tactics involved. And so honestly, I'm kind to cross my fingers that they add something like this in to the main version of Battlefield 4. Like, who wouldn't want this? I know we already have a lot of game modes in Battlefield, and it already gets diluted. Like, how many people play air superiority right now? Like, there's a lot of game modes that have fallen by the wayside simply because there are so many game modes to choose from, but honestly, like, I could see myself playing this continuously. It is a lot of fun for people that want to enjoy tank gameplay. Uh, this is going to be right up their alley. Uh, the last one on the list is Snowmobile Superiority. For me, this was the weaker of the bunch. It's much like Jeep Superiority, but without more of the awesome duels and firefights that you had. I mean, you're on a snowmobile. This thing is gonna be slipping all over the place, and so just to have a firefight was, was difficult. Like, most drivers didn't really have a grasp on how to drive these things smoothly, and so you're just kind of flying around everywhere and not really being able to kill anyone. And so while it's still enjoyable, I felt like this was probably uh, the weakest out of all four of them. Uh, but overall, I highly recommend that you give this a try if you have access to the CTE. It's not going to last very long because I think it's just for their second anniversary of Battlefield 4, so it's only going to last the weekend, but give it a whirl. Tank superiority is awesome. Honestly, I could see this being an amazing game mode being added into Battlefield 4. Jeep superiority is a hell of a lot of fun. Skid loader is going to give you a lot of laughs. Just trust me, jump on the CTE and you are going to have a blast. Uh, but yeah, guys, that is about it for today's video. I hope you you enjoyed. Give me your thoughts on tank superiority. Would you like to see this added into Battle of Four? Do you think that there are already too many game modes and you think that's a bad idea? Let me know down below. Uh, but yep, yeah, until tomorrow, have a good one and take it easy.